Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Duncan Hawk or the Red Hawk here. So I got a question for you. I know I love to ask questions, right? Here's my question. Do you think we can put the genie back in the bottle? I don't think so. So what in the world am I talking about? With what we've been going through with all of the changes and everybody working at home, businesses have had to take a really sharp look quickly at how they're providing services. So for example, one of my clients owns a yoga studio. So she's bricks and mortar, so she's continuing to pay for her services there, right, to own the building. However, she needed to figure out quickly that she needed to continue to get revenue coming in and not lose clientele. So what did she have to do? She took her yoga online. And I gotta tell you, she's my client and I'm also one of her customers. I love doing the at-home version of yoga. I don't have to rush across town, got my mat, try to get there in time, worry about if I'm gonna get there, oh, running, 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 running in there, right? Unfold the thing, find a place. I already have it set up. So boom, all I have to do is open up the video and watch her live, okay? So another one of my colleagues is realizing that, you know what? Maybe we don't need all this restaurant space because actually people like to actually pick up their stuff and we're doing wonderful to go picnic baskets. There's so many businesses right now that are rethinking what they're doing. Some catering chefs have actually been thinking, you know what? This, this at home business of doing home cooked date night meals for those people that are exhausted is a good revenue maker for them. So I want you to start thinking about, is the genie going to go back in the bottle? The introverts are doing very well staying at home. They didn't ever want to go networking. They did not want to go out and meet people. Now they can do all of their online meetings by Zoom. So think about what we're providing and is our service something that is actually better off served providing both. So back to the yoga model, for example, I'm wondering if long term she's going to have to offer both. Because, and how hard would that be? It wouldn't. So she would just have a camera set up and can live stream it right there for us. She'll make double the money. So think about that in the future. Is your business something that should be provided remotely? Or is it something that perhaps is outgrown being in person? So think, think hard on that. Because when we get through all of this, we're going to need to know how to deliver our skills in a different way. And for example, the Red Hawk, I'm now realizing that I need to do more training modules online. And I can be national. I can be international. So instead of just provide, providing my top of mind growth networking training locally here in Virginia and in North Carolina, I can take that national. So I'm having to make some real decisions about what I'm doing. So think about what you're doing too. And think about, has the genie gotten out of the bottle just like with telehealth, and we're probably not going to go sit in a doctor's offices anymore after this. We're probably going to go, you know what, it's a healthy checkup, I'm going to telehealth my doctor. So think about what you're providing. Do we need to continue to make it better and improved in the future? Or are we going to try to go back to the old way, but in the meantime, our customers are thinking, you know what, I like it better the new way. So that's it from Red Hawk. If I can be of help, reach out to me. Love to hear your questions and answers. And of course, click with us on, on YouTube. We're always looking for you to, to join and make a comment. So thank you. Have a blessed day.